Hello everyone, it's Mallory from That Mom Bod, and we're back again for day 15 with our Aldi wine advent calendar. In the month of December, I'm reviewing all 24 wines in the 24 days leading up to Christmas. So let's see what we got for day 15. Before I crack this open, I'm noticing that you can actually see my Dracaena. You might notice, it looks a lot better than it did the last time. Matter of fact, if I can find some footage of the Dracaena from before, I'll go ahead and insert that in here. Uh, so I gave my plant a little bit of love, uh, I cut away all the brown spots, and then also the most genius thing that I did was uh, purchased a grow light. Now, I feel like grow lights are super ugly, but what I did was purchase just a regular old lamp, and then the light bulb that I put inside is a grow lamp light bulb. Uh, yeah, I got it from Amazon. So the lamp, it's unassuming, it looks like just a regular lamp, but at least it gives my plant the light that it needs, so hopefully you can recover and hopefully it'll look a lot better uh, by the time you get to the summer. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Let's crack open day 15. All right, so we have another wine by Intermingle. This wine from Intermingle, it says that it's a dark red blend. So what do I expect from a dark red blend? I'm not exactly sure. Since it's a dark red blend, I mean, it really could be anything. Um, I think that mostly we'll have to crack it open just to, to see. Once we smell it, you know, maybe we'll have a better idea of, of what this is. All right, let's go for it. Ooh, ooh, okay. Hmm, okay. I like that. Oh boy. It kind of like, so it hits you like right here in the back of the throat, sort of. Like, it's a little bit, a little bit tart, which is unexpected. The thing about the dark red blend is that, you know, it could be just a bunch of different things and that's kind of what this one is. It's almost sweet, like a Pinot Noir, but then it does have that more stern flavor that you might get from like a Cabernet Sauvignon or something like that. This is great. Oh boy, it is dry. Yeah, it's really dry. Every time that I take a sip of it, it sucks all the moisture off of my tongue and off of the roof of my mouth. It's an experience. I'm into it though. Okay, well let's see what we have for the cheese. Day 15 for cheese. Okay, it's a mild cheddar. Let's let's see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that if you're thinking of a mild cheddar, you would think that this cheese is really unassuming. And that's not the case at all. It's definitely uh, soft like a mild cheddar would be. It's not as sharp as a sharp cheddar would be or even an extra sharp cheddar, but it's good. It's nice and it's salty but it's not too wild of a taste. In fact, that's something that would go really great with this wine because this wine is all over the place. And I mean, in a great way, but yeah, it is all over the place. Let's see how these two go together. Mm-hmm, oh, it's so dry. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Mm-hmm, this one's a fun one. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this wine. Let me know in the comments. Did you get the same thing with the dryness of this wine? And what did you think about the two together, the wine and the cheese? I thought it was a really nice pairing, but I am interested to hear what you have to say about it. All right, well, I will talk to you in the comments below, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Again, in the month of December, I'm reviewing all 24 wines in the 24 days leading up to Christmas. I'm doing this every day, pretty much. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see what the next one's going to be. I will see you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>